leaving the Tabea Keys. It's to Canoan where we are right now. That's how we roll. Behind the fence. Guys, if you haven't caught up to us, we gone to Europe. We're done sailing in the Caribbean. So we just come around the point there. Sun setting. This is Beckway Island. We bought an old abandoned catamaran, spent two years rebuilding her, and embarked on a 7,000 mile journey across the Atlantic Ocean to our dream cruising grounds, the beautiful Caribbean. Subscribe below and follow the adventure as we explore our way up the Caribbean chain of islands to the beautiful Bahamas. We raised up our anchor to leave the Tobago Keys and head off to Canawan. We're leaving the Tobago Keys after a day full of snorkeling and turtle spotting and stingray spotting and parrotfish spotting and all those spottings. We're a little bit tired, but we decided not to uh, stay in Tobacco Keys for the night. Um, I felt like we did all the islands. So we're heading to Canawan, which is our next stop here in the St. Vincent and the Grenadines. How would you rate Tobago Keys for the viewers? I feel like a 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10. Yeah. What was your highlight of your trip in the Tobago Keys? Seeing a big ass barracuda and getting so close to the turtles and the stingray. That's quite nice. Yeah. And the blue warm water. Yeah, the water is amazing. The water is a 10 out of 10, no doubt. The water is 10 out of 10. As you can see behind Ricky, how nice it looks. Just like. I'm expecting an explosion of fish in these places and it's not there. It's not there, yeah. Like it is like a little aquarium but you don't see the big stuff around. The same like South African waters where there's like monster grouper, there's monster... Not in all places, but yeah, you know, you get... But majority. So, uh, yeah, it's beautiful. I'm excited to do Canawan. It looks like a nice little town, like very European-y. The sail from Tobago Keys to Canawan is roughly six nautical miles. When I'll be coming home And I am on my way When I'll be coming home Yeah, baby! Chakalaka. Don't forget to subscribe below if you haven't already and click on the notification bell to alert you when we upload a new episode and like this video as well as share it with your friends and family. It's a free way you can support our channel. I am busy doing a thing here in this kitchen. So you know how we called coconuts yesterday so I decided I'm going to make pina coladas. I've never made pina coladas in my life before, I always order them. Um, so I decided let me make some. So I took all the meat as they call it from the coconut and uh, with the, what do you call the brown stuff, the bark, I don't even know what you call it. And I put it in the blender with the coconut water that comes in the coconut and I blend it up and it makes it's this. It's not the bark bit. Huh? I don't know why you call it the brown stuff around the coconut the like the layer of skin that's on the actual white meat now i've shredded coconut over here as you can see so I use that for baking or whatever i want to do with it and then um i put it in the blender i take the the i squeeze the milk out of the shredded coconut and then i after that then i had the milk i put the milk in with some rum i didn't put a lot of rum because I don't like pina coladas tasting like rum. I like the coconut sweetness to it. I put a can of pineapples, some ice, 
and uh, a little bit of sugar and blended it all together and here's my pina colada sleep my nutmeg I learned this in Grenada and you pop a little bit of nutmeg over like so chinchino There's a lot of shit floating around. Well, that's what a natural pina colada is. It's coconut floating around. I can see why Jack Sparrow is disappointed. You, used, you burnt all his rum. I burnt burnt all his rum. Enough rum. Cheers to the sunset. Cheers to sailing. Cheers to Tobago Keys. Cheers to Canawan, where we are right now. Yeah, cheers to Canawan. Someone's private jet on the runway there. We'll go exploring tomorrow. It looks pretty, but it's empty. Mm. There's like no one here. The following day, we headed off to explore the island of Canawan. So, we anchored out there. And we just brought the dinghy. We beached it over here. But I think we could have also used the dock. But we weren't sure, so... I'd rather put it on the beach. Go check out Canawan! Super excited to see this place. Canawan is only six kilometers long with a population of 1,700. Although small, this island is fancy with the runway for private jets and a marina for super yachts alike. Oh, what is up with us in choosing uphills? Baby, these islands are built on uphills. <laughs> yeah. After our whole day dive in Tobago Keys yesterday, now we decide let's do a nice long walk. Romantic long walks. What? Romantic long walks. It's getting pretty. Someone's clipped it. Got told that um, you shouldn't anchor your boat here or anything like that. I think it's on the other side, on the western side. <laughs> well, either side, you're not, whichever way they land or take off. Yeah, you shouldn't anchor there because sometimes they miss the runway and I'll go right to your boat. So I was like... Isn't it that they approach low or they go over the runway? I don't know, I can't remember. Either landing or taking off. Well, I mean, they've got to come at an approach angle, but... I don't know. There's jets landing in. And they say that it can land the biggest... private jets. That would probably... Be your wide bodies and now I'm coming to one of the best spots in the world the Canawan Airport someone's not impressed I but I am oh, check shit. it this baby Did just take off? BAM that's how we roll behind the fence <laughs> check it this just cruising on some dude's private island Check it, his toys parked, yeah. Those two. And that gold stream. Why would you have three planes for yourself? Because you're that fat. You're fat. Fat in cash. Fat in cash. According to our Windward Island book, there's a right, place called the Sandy Yacht Club. No, there's a gate the gate oh so we have to go up up that way again google maps made us walk the wrong way so we're going to you now have to walk back because google maps was wrong google maps on the reef Guys, if you haven't caught up to us, we gone to Europe, we've done sailing in the Caribbean. Um, we decided Europe's more our style, so we just moved on board our new yacht. I'm just kidding. <laughs> this is Canon, guys. Canon in the Caribbean. You would not believe this place. This is like, this is something else. This is kind of what I imagined the Caribbean to be. <laughs> is what you imagine the Caribbean to be like? No, <laughs> this is Europe. It's not Caribbean. It's 
beautiful. They did a really good job with this marina. It's insane. When I look deep into your eyes, oh, when I look deep into your eyes, thanks again to Michael and Marika for showing us around Canawan Island. So we are ready to lift up anchor again. Our trip in Canawan is over. We spent the day here, checked it out, done the city. Thanks to our friends, we managed to get all of it done because they have a Kawasaki mule. mule? Yeah. And they picked us up actually on the way walking to Sandy Lane Yacht Club and they're like, do you guys want to lift? And we're like, cool. And they were so South Africans, so it was awesome to meet fellow South Africans. And now we're getting ready to lift anchor and head off to Bakeway. Thanks to them, they work for the Tradewinds company. So if you guys need to charter yachts out and come experience sailing life and not to show yet if you want to buy a yacht, but you want to see what it's like, definitely recommend checking them out, Tradewinds. I'll link it as well below their link. You can go check it out. We're not doing an ad for them, but they were really so nice to us and they stopped next to the side of the road. I thought this might be a nice way to say thanks Thank for stopping. You and so check them out guys it's your discretion you go look up what they have to offer and um yeah it was amazing what they drove us around took us out for lunch thank you so much and without even knowing us they picked up two randoms on the side of the road so thank you again guys so let's get to Bekwe and go explore that island on our route up north to the bahamas The trip from Canawan to Bekwe is roughly 18 nautical miles. Damn, we got all our sails out today! Woohoo! Now we're sailing! We're gonna overtake that guy there. Which one? Yeah. Yeah. No. He doesn't believe we overtake him. I think we will. Change this one and put the daisy chain on it. The only thing we seem to be catching these days is a bunch of seaweed. Just come around the point there. Sun setting. This is Beckway Island. Yeah, we straight into the wind now. Uh, we have a north. We have an easterly today. So this is precisely heading dead into it. And we're going to anchor in Princess Bay. They reckon that's the best bay to anchor in. And tomorrow, so no, not tomorrow. Friday, Saturday. It'll be two days from now. We'll be heading over to St. Vincent, hang on a couple of days, a bit of a blow coming through and then after that on to Martinique and then we got a hundred, just under a hundred, I think it's like 80 something miles sail. So yeah, looking forward to that. Beckway, day one. Beckway, day one. Let's go. This place is busy.
Beckwith does look nice. I told you. This might take more than one day. I told you. <laughs> this does look very nice. Beckwith has a population of 5,300, so it's not as small as Kanoan. We really enjoyed it here, although transportation was pretty expensive, ranging from 20 EC per person and up. Maybe we had just gotten used to the cheap buses in Grenada. Renting a car is also nearly impossible with how busy the island is with tourism. We did however manage to take a trip to see the Hawksbill sea turtles, which are unfortunately on the critically endangered list. They named Hawksbill for their narrow pointed beaks and distinctive pattern of overlapping scales on their shells. They are a fundamental link in marine ecosystems and help maintain the health of coral reefs and seagrass beds. Stay tuned till next week as we make a pit stop in St. Vincent and then head off to Martinique. Don't forget to subscribe below if you haven't already and give this video a big thumbs up. See you guys next week.